All right, so since that the programmer would be taking a while to do the project of Ichigo Kurosaki versus Uzumaki Naruto in an animated format, which I and many are very much hyped about, why don't I just take up the role of placing these two against each other using classic reasoning with evidence from both franchises and standard battle assumptions to come to a verdict of who wins between these two characters? Now, I mainly would be going over their forms in the sense of when they started getting really powerful in their verses. Uh, we will do Mastered Hollow Bankai Ichigo vs Perfect Sage Naruto, Vasto Lordia Ichigo vs Six Tailed Cloak Naruto, Dangai Ichigo vs Master KCM Naruto, Mugetsu Ichigo vs KCM2 Naruto, Full Bring Ichigo vs Master KCM2 Naruto with Sage Mode. Early work Bankai Ichigo vs Base 6 Paths Naruto, Trushikai Ichigo vs Kurama 6 Paths Naruto, Trushikai Bankai Ichigo vs um, probably we may get to the final value Naruto. Now after all these fights, we will briefly analyze Trushikai Bankai Ichigo's vs the last Naruto or 6 Paths Hokage Naruto to see how that will turn out. And if you want to see a video on Kaguya vs Yuha and Sokin vs Hagoromo or Ishiki, then please do subscribe, like, comment, and share for more Bleach and Naruto content. Also, check out my Bleach and Naruto playlist down below. Without further ado, let's begin. Now, Mastered Holo Bankai Ichigo vs Perfect Sage Naruto. Let's start with Ichigo here. Now if you watch my Ichigo video which I do highly recommend you to do and it will be linked down below then the calc in which I have for the verse is very very accurate and unlike many Bleach fans I have Soul Society Arc Ichigo at planet level for many reasons in which I will mention um, one or two. Ichigo being able to block the Sogyoku which is used to kill serious criminals at that point in the verse which has the power of a million Zanpakuto. The bare faced fact that during the early Aranka arc, Toshiro and his crew had to put limiters on to um, has put limiters on to not affect the world of the living but this could be just the people dying rather than planet level destruction but still Ichigo in Soul Society arc is still above them in the Aranka arc by raw feats and Ichigo's spiritual pressure could make Yukum, Ukitake and Byakuya wonder. Now Ichigo could also body lieutenants casually but as time went on Ichigo got at least 10 times stronger in the Aranka arc from the Soul Society arc in which I used this as a basic multiplier in the verse for a new arc because these people naturally progress in terms of strength during combat rather than training like the Naruto verse or rather they are high up there and just gradually release more power as others progress in the verse like Kenpachi and Aizen. Ichigo would be at least 10 times planet level in his Bankai but would be relative to his Bankai in base form the previous arc the, to base form from the previous arc and then 10 times that in his hollow form being his best showing if we say we are starting Ichigo off from, his, from there in which I do think isn't wrong since that's the main um, scaling of the verse from that point in short, each, um, Shika Ichigo is planet level, Bankai is 10 times and Hollow is 10 times. Note that Ichigo couldn't use his Bankai and Hollow together, so they were even. During the Aranka arc, Ichigo in his Shikai would be relative to his Bankai in the previous arc if we agree on progression of 10 times increase. Then his Bankai earlier on in this arc would be, would be around 100 times his Bankai from the Soul Society arc, then Ichigo trains with the Visors, which would be another 10 times app and Yukiura at this time could just no diff him. I mean Grim Zhao could do so. Ichigo then goes from that to learning how to combine his Bankai and Holo making him fight Grim Zhao on equal grounds and actually win but during that fight he gets stronger because Grim Zhao had to go second release for them to be remotely equal. Meaning Ichigo actually got like 100 times amp again, which is insane. At this point, I have him around um, 10,000 times planet level. No joke. Ichigo only got very, very strong after amping post his fight with base Yukiura before fighting Grimjaw. So yes, it keep him. 
yes, it keeps going up and up from there. This is all with calcs, which is consistent throughout the series. If you want to use just surrounding calcs and feet, then I see people place this Ichigo around country level. In which till today, I don't know how such outlier became an actual an actuality in the community. Because after reading it again, I couldn't see anything below planning level. Now, as for speed, Ichigo is pretty damn fast as he already has lightning statements from Soul Society arc towards the ending and then you keep stacking that and you see how many times faster than light he is, probably maximum 10 times FTO. As for Naruto in Sage Mode, let's know that Naruto Verse has blatant light speed feats or reality feats from earlier in part 1 and people like Rock Lee just get tens of times above that already in gates beating Ichigo speed in the Aranka arc in just part 1 to be honest. Now as for AP is where it isn't even close. Naruto in Sage Mode at best will be like um, with serious wank would be around large city level scaling from pains from pain but i could escalate these by scaling him above the akatsuki members with tail beast level of power but at different times in the verse the tail beast show different power outputs they can use don't um, doesn't mean they haven't been that strong they give kenpachi vibes to put in to put it in short i mean kurama is stated to pulverize the earth since um naruto um like early shippuden and has four characters who can scale to planet levels easily like madra and hashirama without any six path amp this naruto loses to ichigo badly if ichigo just gets the chance to touch him and let's be frank it's not like this sage naruto is like that of sage naruto in the war this is far farther because now um, nature energy resonates with um, with chakra levels you take more nature energy then your chakra limit then you die naruto in early shippuden is stated to have four times kakashi's chakra at least and kakashi can be skilled to like city level naruto would skill to large city level in base i will dive into this kakashi scaling when i eventually do a video on him or just watch scalings of him um example like probably king bullet naruto in sage mode would be bare minimum twice as powerful as that which would still be large city level but on a far far greater scale ichigo just mops him at this stage of one ichigo just mops him at this stage if one all-out attack hits him but most times these characters don't exert all their energy of course or they die but it, um but at this point, a casual attack from Ichigo could even be continental. Now, if you want to use the city level scaling for Ichigo at this point, then Naruto just one-shots him in a pretty bad way. Naruto has hacks like sending, um, like sensing, premonition, frog, kumite, and slap. Um, as long as you have spiritual energy, he can send such into you and literally turn you to stone. Meanwhile, Ichigo will use swords and shouts get to get Tenshu. Using the general scaling, this goes to Naruto with no div, but I think Ichigo is at this level to be honest and just one shot Naruto. Now moving on to Vasto Lorde vs 60 Cloak Naruto. Now Vasto Lorde Ichigo in my scaling just shits on the spider like no joke. My scaling for the spider in my bleach cow gets yummy at full transformation around 3750 times star level, referring to the sun and Vastolordi is like around this tier like massively low balling and far greater because in my calculation is around 18,000 times star level. But many people skill this Ichigo and that is when and that is without him um like using full power like his Shiho Shio is like 95-94% of his clothing is gone. But well, many people scale this Ichigo to planet level now. 60 o'clock Naruto in any case just loses terribly bad. Um, without me trying to actually dive um, on how OP the tail beasts are in their V cloaks and full forms, which they have ways of disturbing their chakra potencies or um, ways of distributing their chakra potencies now six tails literally almost did what pain did but worst in mere moments 
at the other side of the village. It outskills pain so much that it can be skilled to like country level easily. But Naruto still is massively faster than Ichigo here, even faster Lordy. But as for those who keep the Naruto verse at light speed timers, when kids are dodging and reacting to light while severely weakened in part one, for example, Kakashi nearly out of chakra, and then the chakra he would have as an adult would be way more than as a kid. They ran up a mountain and caught a lightning coming down, not the return stroke, the lightning bolts. That's insanely fast, without nearly any chakra, and his father compared to Kid Naruto in terms of chakra reserves and speed. Well, but Ichigo just slaps here with no issue as well. Moving on to Dan Guy Ichigo versus Master KCM Naruto. Now this is where things kind of start getting interesting. Dan Guy Ichigo is a bare minimum above every captain and every spider put together. To be honest, I just stopped mentioning how overpowered they are in terms of my own scaling because it's just utter destruction. But if we go by the general scaling, I see um, of Ichigo, then his skills around the level of Aizen, of course, actually far stronger because Aizen did create a star in Hekumundo and also rules over the entirety of Hekumundo, which is a universe of its own. <laughs> what does not mean he can destroy it? But to be honest, I have Danga Ichigo around like thousands of times star level. Now, KCM Naruto at this point is actually not half bad. Know that this Naruto is the Naruto in which him and Sasuke could harm and damage a little part of the Tentil's physical form. He could, he could make hundreds of clones in which each clone was Kage level. In the sense that each clone was like Raikage type she level of power who could fight the eight tails to a standstill. Now all this tailed beast scaling is really outrageous if you want to be really honest. But to be honest this KCM Naruto is nearly fit. Um, Feetless to be frank and just get slapped by Danga Ichigo with no difficulty. Now Mugetsu Ichigo versus KCM to Naruto. Um now um Mugetsu Ichigo versus KCM to Naruto may also not be a fair fight at all if as usual we don't take into account how powerful these tail beasts actually are in terms of chakra potencies and potential. Talking about the nine tails chakra is something really overpowered in the verse from what we have seen from Kurama. Actually, we can't just start we can't just start scaling Naruto. Um we can't just start scaling Naruto to insane ranges, but still the tailed beasts have levels to which their chakra manifest themselves. Truth be told, from most of the matchups that I just gave to win to Ichigo, if I really wanted to start quantifying Kurama's power from there on in terms of low levels of distribution, he would still be able to beat Ichigo or drag it out with him. KCM Naruto is able to help beat the tail beast together and fire casual plenty level potential tail beast bomb. Some people say like the can um, the translation is wrong and it just meant like um disturbing the earth like the ground shaking which is likely true but there's still a lot more feats that still prove otherwise i mean he's able to disturb hundreds to distribute hundreds of um of clones with even lesser percentage of Kurama's chakra i would say 25 percent and one of those clones can move still massively faster than light at least in terms of reaction and combat speed kcm naruto already had more chakra levels than the likes of madara hashirama and the previous Kage's, in which base Naruto's clone can make about a thousand more clones, which could all use giant Rasengan, which Jiraiya could only use uh, or do so easily in his sage mode, which could take out three pains. And he, um, Jiraiya could take out three parts of pains. Base Naruto in early Shippuden was about four times stronger than Kakashi. Um, Naruto stopped Madara's forest emergence, which is indeed strong enough to take out the five Kages and actually cause a full powered Kurama trouble. People tend to also forget the fact that Naruto beat Kurama to take his chakra in sage mode. So, truly, if I wanted to really go down and down, it would start taking turns. But I will do this here, I wouldn't do this here to start making the fights um, more interesting. Now, tail beasts are literally just chakra with physical form. They use a chakra body that's, still, that's stiff while the remaining chakra is within them. And Naruto took control of the, um, the entire half of the full thing. 
Or is it the fact that Naruto during the war could amp about 10,000 shinobis three times the level of war Kakashi, who could spam Kami and literally take the eight tails into it? And if he wanted to take in the ten tails, that would require bare minimum far beyond solar system levels of chakra because the bigger and more potent the object, <laughs> then the harder and more chakra required to use Kamui. Naruto was far beyond this level of threat and he could take on maxed Obito who could control the Jinchurikis who of course didn't have great connection with your tail beast but definitely whatever chakra they had access to was stronger than when the tail beast they used it themselves. Naruto with literally half of Kurama while still dashing out or giving out chakra three times Kakashi in the war to about 10,000 people would be, too would be too impressive that if you said that Kakashi scaled far below Obito which is a lie or the Kami um, chakra limit is independent on the object and user now people will say Obito let Kakashi win which is true but truth be told is that Obito didn't have far more chakra than Kakashi during the war and if we say Kakashi scaled bare minimum like continental level Multiply that by 10,000, then multiply it by 3, and you start counting dwarf star level or minimum or multi star levels of power in terms of AP. And that's using Australia as consideration, which Australia is the smallest continent, which already gets Ichigo t um, to his. But if we go by just Naruto's normal scaling in the community, then this Naruto is around large planet level normally and like star level in terms of potency. Some even say far less, people still tend to forget that the multi-star level is justifiable as the tentacles pulled on multi-continental feet on, and Naruto used his chakra to protect everyone from the attack including the previous Kages, while Madara just used his Susano to defend himself casually. And that's far from a full Susano, which gets tens of times stronger, hundreds of times more powerful. I mean, his um, Shingai Tensei is called to casually be multi-country level to continental. Now multiply multi-continental AP by 10,000 and then multiply by 3. Let me drop the calc which I did myself. For continental upwards, we have 525,000 square kilometers by Australia. Now 525,000 times 10,000 give us um, 5 billion 250 million. Right, Earth is about 510 million square kilometers. Naruto has bare minimum enough chakra to create 10.3 Earths and won't run out of chakra because this is just based on the fact he can give such amount of chakra to the Shinobi Alliance. Then multiply it by three. That would be 15 billion 750 um, billion square kilometers that would be around dwarf star level this would be using australia as bare minimum let's not get over the fact he still had so much power to fight till beast before that and fight obito after that for multi-continental earth's land has a surface area of 510 million square kilometers land of um 148 um million kilometers square from google but i did my own math and got relatively the same thing which i'll put on the screen right he, um then this is a multi-continental um calc now multiply such value by ten thousand, and well you start hitting really really high numbers at this point we are getting around um 14 quadrillion all right and it, now if you divide by the square kilometers of earth then you would get around 30 about roughly 30,000 times out of earth resulting to about 2.2 times star level as the surface area of the sun is about 12,000 times that of earth then you actually multiply it by three and that gives 60,000 more than earth giving about four to five times star level this is just his normal KCM to chakra and then things start to really accelerate when you realize that Naruto had wasted excess chakra before all this happened. For Madara, Obito, the tail beast sent out 100 plus KCM shadow clones and could still rival V2 8 tails and with this scaling could start entering multi-solar system levels but I don't have strength to go there right now. 
What's most impressive is the fact that these star level feats aren't close to his peak at KCM, but also him being very weakened while protecting others is still bare minimum planet level. Multi planet level, just do a reverse calculation. And he is ridiculously faster than Ichigo. It, is, it isn't even funny, to be honest. Just going off of feats and aiming calcs has far more passive hacks than Ichigo. Using standard battle assumptions, Ichigo's spiritual pressure should erase someone completely out of his league, but that's different here. Ichigo just keeps getting blitzed by someone that has near infinite stamina and has bare minimum at his lowest of the lowest in base to be multi-continental earlier on in his days of amping the war. Ichigo could just resolve to hitting Naruto with a far heavy attack as this dude beat Aizen who could create a star in Hekumundo and got far more powerful than that. I would say the gap, um, the speed gap wouldn't be too much because Ichigo has covered up with power. So I still say Ichigo wins by one shot in him even in Dangai State, Chocolate of Mugetsu. Now full bring Ichigo versus Master KCM2 Naruto with stage move. Now, full bring Ichigo basically is like Vasto Lordy Ichigo, and I can explain all this in and I explained all this in my Ichigo video. He didn't get so much amp as he lost his soul ripper powers, which was just too strong for anyone else. That his that guy was far far above them. I bet everyone who gave little of their powers won't get I bet everyone who gave little of their powers to Ichigo, the combining, um, combining everything or from each person won't get up to the power of Dangai placed um, put together. Especially by giving out like planet level to star levels of Riyatsu to Ichigo, it was just to jumpstart his entire career again. Not to get him on the same level because none of them, probably except Kenpachi, wow, and Ken suppress Kenpachi was not on that level. I think Kenpachi was relative to Ichigo a lot of times as he progressed because Kenpachi just like decided to use more Riatsu and cut up because dude is really close to Ichigo in terms of power. Right, um, KCM2 Naruto just decimates him, simply Sage Mode Naruto balances the physical and spiritual energies, each side gets like bare minimum 10 times amp depending on how strong the chakra is, like this is a low ball, this is where things start getting very interesting because Obito has the 10 tails infinite chakra compared to the power system at that time, he was just far above them but with Sage Mode from just Sasuke and Naruto they caught up to him. Now Senjutsu does negate nature energy which is basically stronger than normal chakra and any spiritual energy so far in the verse but the way it works is like total cheat code because you can literally just damage any 6 path user with Senjutsu or you have to be stronger than them or relative to them. So Naruto getting such amp is no joke at all. He had to be relative to half of Obito's strength who was just planning to nuke the planet casually if not that he had a plan. Let's note that this same tentils is capable of holding the tail beast and the scaling could just go insane. But I will reskill the Naruto verse later on, for now I am keeping things just very simple. The real scaling will start and I am being very generous to show you guys how these people just escalate in power. Naruto would be like 100 times stronger bare minimum and would just be like um, 300 times star level and he injures full brain casually. But yeah, based on my bleach scaling, he isn't beating even Zomari from the spada. But this is a low ball for the verse. Now when I say Zomari, it could get real tricky right here for full bring there. Then people will not be like, but full bring should be at very, very minimum above the entire spada. No, it's not. Now full bring is father. Like I, I don't know how else to say this, but full bring is trash. Um he's in beating Zomari from Spada, um, but this is a low ball for the verse. Now, if we want to be realistic, we will use the multi solar system to galaxy scaling for Obito, and he just folds even Mugetsu badly. But that will be done in my new Naruto scaling videos. We can agree Full Bring loses, and actually, Full Bring is a lot weaker than Vasto Lord Ichigo by a huge gap. Really huge. Now, War Arc Bankai Ichigo versus Six Paths Naruto. 
Now early war Kichigo is not also that powerful at all, he gets folded by BG Stage Mode Naruto. I mean vast to lordy Dangai and Mugetsu are his most powerful forms ranging from thousands of times star level to hundreds of times solar system level. This dude had a serious hard time beating the female Quincy trio. Beating Kyogi and got one shot by Yuha like Kenpachi did and Yamamoto. Naruto's, Naruto's kick in base here is stated to surprise his Biju Sage mode. Proceeds to one shot Madara in his 6 paths. Uses a 6 path Lava Resin Shuriken in base without any further amps. This Madara is already far above Obito to the point you need a Naruto whose kick surpasses his Biju Sage mode. And it is just too impressive that a casual kick can do that. I don't know how to quantify the gap between Biju Sage Mode and Six Pass Sage Mode, but I wouldn't be surprised if the gap is entering the thousands multipliers because guy in eight gates would shit on such a transformation called Biju Sage Mode. I can't even start trying to calculate such now. But one thing is for sure is that we will keep it at a low ball that his six pass is a hundred times that of Biju Sage Mode and the power range we got for Biju Sage mode earlier is low ball. Naruto goes on to bully this Madara to the point Madara clearly saw he had no chance of beating just one of them. Then he absorbs the guard tree itself, which also had a lot of the Tentio's chakra, which wasn't used in that war because that chakra was kept for the infinite Tsukiyomi. The chakra then amps Madara to the point where he thinks he can take on both Naruto and Sasuke. The gap from basic pass to his cloak coming um, coming on him is so much that Madara moved from running away from a basic pass Naruto to fighting a full powered one with Sasuke and load their power just kept on increasing from here on out. Because Naruto mastered his powers immediately, that's what Six Pass does on Six Pass and Jutsu. And Sasuke was still mastering such. He was far from mastering it, but their Six Pass chakra kept getting stronger. Madara, who got like another crazy amp to fight both of them, was still losing to just Naruto. Because Limbo's are him from another universe with the same relative strength that Naruto's clones are on such level. Naruto was so much above Madara that people don't realize. Naruto's chakra reduces the more clones he gets and could beat or fight Madara's clones that are as strong as him. Meaning, Naruto alone can get the job done. Sasuke and Naruto then go in into um, now try sealing him and he gets the sharing gun, but yet they get getting stronger that Madara knew that one Rinnegan or Rinnegan and Sharingan ain't gonna do she. He needed a Rinnegan amp to fight them, a dual Rinnegan amp. Basically Madara got at least 10 times stronger. With that, with the with 10 the three and four times with the double Rinnegan, at least 40 times amp. This just comes out to be very consistent and with the consistency in amp progression of the series and also six pads amp is like the eight gates amp which is 10 times exponentially so naruto jumping from base to six pads would be like so insane like the jump would be too much we still but yeah we still lowballing when we have to meaning naruto in six pads would have um, would have been very minimum at least um, a thousand times his Biju stage mode with rough estimation and this is all low ball. This Naruto just one shot early war Ichigo. Biju stage mode Naruto um Biju stage mode would have gotten the job done, which would be uh, about three hundred thousand times star level and this hasn't yet gotten to thought from Aizen, but this is above second from Aizen with my calc while low ball in Naruto. Naruto goes against Kaguya and this is where she gets real. Kaguya can be easily scaled to low multiversal but let's use the low ball of multi solar system level. Naruto is able to exchange attacks with her and even damage her across the battlefield. Which he got a shit ton more powerful than when he fought Madara. His power kept on growing in minutes this dude was ready to be Kaguya who was going to destroy the dimensions and recreate them back and to be honest each of these are universes of their own space time continuum but let's stick with our solar system fits for now 
now this part also gets um goes alone um now this part also goes along with the true shikai ichigo i needed to use cloak one naruto against madara to explain his base strength now this ichigo is the ichigo who went to fight yuha and just got bullied around casually this ichigo fought yuha and fights yuha and loses but scaling from how powerful he had gotten his true shikai is like his dangai but far stronger I have done guy Ichigo to be multi solar system already, meaning he slaps Kagia. And when I say a multi solar system, I mean like far above creating six solar systems. He would be Naruto casually, but if we want to be realistic and turn the tables around, that becomes on one shot from Naruto far before even getting to six paths here or in base. Yuha in his Bankai is basically. Ichigo in his Bankai is basically 100 times his Shikai because he has his Bankai amp and his true Bankai with horns of salvation, which he gets which gets him to two times galaxy level with Kaox I have, but that wouldn't still be enough depending on the scaling you want to use for Naruto. Final value with low ball Kaox won't change anything because Ichigo would decimate him. But reverse the case and it's GG. Now what about scaling the bleach verse higher? Now with calc with, with calc stacking, you can actually have an accurate scale for bleach, which is what I did. Ichigo doesn't scale to Yuha at all. I may have to do a video for that, but I do explain it well in my Ichigo video for anyone with a working brain. Enough with the low ball or mid ball or high ball. To declare who would actually win using their final forms. Let me get real here. These two verses actually have big cosmologies, and I will be doing a cosmology video for Naruto verse, but people tend to ignore the evidences in the Naruto verse, which are by far more substantial than the Bleach verse, by far, as long as I'm concerned. But choose Wang Bleach for no good reason. Both verses have one infinite statement for their universe, the Naruto. Um, has by far more direct narrative and contextual universal to low multiversal feats for their characters than Bleach to be honest and have hacks that just are far broken than the Bleach verse but no one just talks about things indefinitely maybe because Bleach has been the underdog for years now this match will have about several scenarios probably up to 10 but I will try my best to be as even as possible to see who would actually win who in a death battle. And I will leave their speed at equal stats throughout. Hacks and powers will mostly justify the outcome. Now let's use both of them with most of the community's take on their low balls um, scaling. Ichigo is usually viewed around star level to solar system level and Naruto is viewed around from planet level to star level. Ichigo would beat the living crap out of Naruto if they are in a place where they can go all out in terms of raw power. Now, Naruto could actually cause Ichigo serious issues with the truth seeking orbs because it isn't a matter of if you can be stronger than it or not. This thing negates durability and conventional durability. I will briefly mention some of Naruto's durability, negation abilities and hacks that could give Ichigo a run for his money at any stage and truth be told Ichigo only, Ichigo's only thing on Naruto is horns of salvation which people say can counter yours or mighty and based on standard battle assumptions we would assume it can work on Naruto. It basically lets Ichigo avoid the trash you have placed in the future for Ichigo mid battle without Ichigo knowing he did so. So this horn supposedly um, lets him bypass fate or destiny or something like that, lets him see it and avoid it but Naruto isn't hiding anything so it's pretty much useless. Now Naruto has matter manipulation, soul manipulation, space time manipulation and reality warping and Ichigo has soul manipulation, mind hacks resistance but on a low level and almost every other hacks his father. I mean Naruto has some crazy type of regeneration to the point he doesn't even take damages unless you are just leagues above him. Like I mean leagues above him. This dude was stated to revive Obito and Guy from the dead. Also he can create lost body parts. 
He regretted Kakashi's eye, but I guess he lost the ability after that. Naruto's hacks is from the creation of all things and truth seeking orbs. Now Ichigo fighting Naruto and maybe hits him one or two times. Naruto will see that okay, the power gap is too much, in which Ichigo can easily get blown to parts by truth by the truth seeking orb. Because he has no Senjutsu to counter it. This stuff doesn't care about how durable you are. It goes beyond conventional durability, which is basically worse than damaging anything passive that is hard to damage, like the soul. It would negate the durability of anything immediately, especially if you are in this stage. Especially if you are in this stage ball game of power. Also, Naruto's um. Also, Naruto's durability scales far above its attack potency by a long shot because of the same effects of six paths. You basically can't hurt him without it, but if you are strong enough, then you can. The issue here is damaging his base six pass body is already an issue, then trying to break through his Kurama cloak is another issue. Naruto's chakra cloak also poisons and is one of the most dangerous poisons in the entire verse. Poisons negate durability. Kurama could even infuse Ichigo with chakra to basically mess with his organs or Naruto can just keep feeding Nar um, Ichigo natural energy until he turns into stone as the speeds are equal and the durability even increases more when Naruto uses Kurama after and his Ashura mode is calked a bare minimum 100 times amp this can really get out of hand real quick even if Ichigo was to win he would have to break through Naruto's immense durability and try not to have serious contact with Kurama or the truth seeking orb. If it's in a place where they both can go all out, Ichigo's peak form has no increase anymore. His grand rig gets Chigo Tenshu versus the Kurama Avatar final attack. Also, Ichigo would win the clash because the gap from plane to from planet to star level or star level to solar system is incredibly much. But if he gets unlucky, it can be a wrap real quick. If you argue any is faster than Ichigo, if you argue Naruto is faster than Ichigo, then um, if you argue speed for any side, um, Ichigo dogs or Naruto would dog, but equal speed leaves room for more balanced consideration. Now going by Naruto's low mid ball um, in the community and Ichigo's low mid ball. Naruto will start entering multi-solar system and Ichigo starts entering multi-galaxy with the same condition I gave above then Ichigo slaps. Naruto's mid ball and Ichigo's mid ball are around the same level in the community. They have Naruto at universal and Ichigo from uni to uni plus. Now with equal strength, Naruto actually beats Ichigo because of their clash gives them Naruto actually beats Ichigo if their clash gives them equal effect. Naruto is by far more durable still and has far more stamina than it wouldn't be fair at all. Uni plus is leagues above Uni that Ichigo just one shot. Naruto and Ichigo meet ball in the community usually ranges from Uni plus Naruto and Do multi versus Ichigo. This will give the exact same scenario of the first matchup of them being star level to solar system. Ichigo wins again. As for highball, we have low multiversal to still low multiversal. This year is when things slip over because Ichigo would be like three times junior and Naruto would be like relatively six times scaling to Kagia and Naruto dog walks. As for wank, Naruto is still low multiversal. While you hear things like 5D Ichigo and multiversal Ichigo and with them, with these then Ichigo beats the entire universe like except Hagromo probably. With the community's view, we have Naruto winning one and Ichigo winning six. Now that we have gone through that, uh, let me tell you guys exactly how this fight actually is, is in terms of power. Now, for the benefit of not wanting everyone on my neck, I will agree to Ichigo being at least low multiversal, but with the same bad arguments and reasoning the fan base used to get him to such. Let's use the same damn thing on Naruto on the Naruto verse and see what happens. And it's not actually the Naruto verse is not really actually a bad argument. 
because their evidence is on the screen and actual reasoning now here we will be considering the fact that ichigo would scale to yuha who was going to destroy the false claim society which is called infinite which i explained how it is not or the fact people keep forgetting that the soul society world of soul society world is legit um they are on is legitimately a large planet or planet and it is and it is opposite to the planets of the world of living do they have a universe clearly they do but the planet isn't a damn universe as well hekumundo is the only justifiable thing to be called universe size dimension and i can argue and i can agree with it for many reasons but still it is easy to call it a planet but that, that doesn't mean a matter right now so we have three universes the value of screams which would um have an unquantifiable distance between the universes and you have hell and few other dimensions not few other just have like dangai and that's it let's say they are all universes including the dangai and the soul pl um, palace being like 72 planet layers from serete um people try calling serete a planet um that shit is like a, a very very large country at best now the soul king holds these realms as he separated them the soul king has a necessary existence in all of the bleach worlds making him at least up to 10 times universal actually far less at maximum scaling like really stretching it now using soul society as infinite which it isn't would scale to high uni at best and you would need an infinite level of power again to move into low multiversal in the sense that the space from your infinite universe unless it is infinitely expanding the space would be would need to be infinite to create an early transcendence to the next exist existential tier to even be remotely low multiversal but let's ignore that but let's ignore that and go with the classic two times universal is low multiversal but i wonder why high uni and uni uni plus exist then now for someone who disagrees a lot with um with versus battle tiering system Universal Plus alone is affecting basically having infinite universes or finite universes but you can destroy and affect them in, you know, um, including the space between them which is unquantifiable so could or possibly an, un an unquantifiable amount is Universal Plus. Low multiversal is affecting or creating small multiverses simply meaning universes or parallel dimensions that are inf infinite but have parallel dimensions in an enclosed space in an enclosed space time beyond a quantifiable space is low multiversal the only being in bleach that is low multiversal by necessary default is the soul king cutting the soul king's body or using part of his power like you heard us isn't what will get you to such in fact his almighty is the only thing you have could get from him as his existence doesn't correlate with energy distribution nor does the almighty does you just have to trigger his balance that's why the fucking zero division exists. A kid could go there and do the same thing. Stabbing a being who isn't trying to resist should tell you enough and read the fucking light novels. Can't fear your own world. If not, the royal families would all be universal to low multiversal by that incoherent, increasing like-minded logic. You had just had to disturb the soul king's balance to destroy just three realms and not even up to what prime soul king did he had to disturb it and couldn't do it himself if not yuha wouldn't need to go to his father and ichigo cutting yuha in half doesn't scale to yuha as well because the same almighty doesn't help in any passive feat and even if we say the almighty can cut us yuha using it wouldn't scale to it because my dude couldn't even contain the thing the remnants of it and Aizen got rid of the rest coming down to consume the soul society. The almighty isn't a passive hack of Yuha. That shit can be negated and that's for another video. The almighty just helps by seeing the future and setting the right balance in keeping, in keeping peace for the souls and the, and the universes to get rid of potential heavy threats. And that's why mainly Yuha being a born anomaly of the soul king 
could bypass such effect and cause so much issues as he tried a thousand years back. You her at best, including Ichigo, and I would keep repeating this until something else shows up for adult Ichigo isn't getting past Universal and Wank would be high Universal. With Kalk, the best you will get Ichigo is 2 times Galaxy level and Yuha to be mid multi Galaxy level. Yuha doesn't have such passive abilities but we will get, we'll give it to him. As for Naruto, Hiruzen has called the universe infinite in a sense that was better is likely even a mistranslation um, I'm referring to Mugen in Bleach. Momoshiki has created parallel universes to Earth and it's translated as Shin Rabanshu in the actual guide, guidebooks and novels and in different languages Kage created on parallel dimensions. Kage has created dimensions as she pleases stated in data books. The data books are canon. Oh my god. And in the canon story filler she basically rewrote the entire Naruto universe after taking a portion of the chakra, actually a fragment of the chakra fruit that breathed all things in the universe which has been stated far beyond then. Mother stated it when he was blind with sage chakra. Um, he has stated that his son can cut all things in the universe and the um, Uchiha stone tablet is stated there. So many times, I don't even know how many times I have to keep repeating all these things. God damn. That fruit is so powerful that a max out portion of it can beat Ishiki. And Ishiki was drawing power from a baby tentacles, which would have become its own universal constant after growing. A baby tentacles is considered planet level casually. Tentacles they fought in the war while in its first transformation had infinite chakra and planet size chakra shown by father ninjas as Naruto who is far stronger saw infinity and as well as Kurama and the Jonins in the headquarters could only perceive small planets from it. We know Kaguya creates parallel dimensions which would all be relative at bare minimum using Occam's razor meaning that each universe would be in space time in a greater space time and that's low multiversal or say hi uni i don't want to waste time but the naruto verse has far stronger laws than bleach verse than bleach verse but people choose to be blind and ignorant naruto and sasuke in the war pre final valley would range from universal to low multiversal but i will stick with multi galaxy to universal plus now using multi galaxy ichigo and naruto naruto scores far higher in this tier clearly and would dog ichigo Using Universal would still give Naruto the win. Using Low Multiversal, Naruto is just destruction. So I will leave them both at Universal for the benefit of the both fan base, and with also equal speeds. Because to be honest, Naruto is massively faster than Ichigo. It won't even be a funny thing. I mean, Momoshiki alone pulling ch um, chakra from his parallel universe. The gap between them. Like let's not even start from the fact that that's almost unquantifiable. That could get to like easy infinite speed. But that would be like bare minimum quintillions, quintillions, sextillions times faster than the speed of light. So it falls down to hacks and durability negation, which Naruto just takes the win here pretty badly. I mean Ichigo won't even beat Sasuke like this. It's a lot more difficult to beat Sasuke than Naruto to be honest. With the community, I give their final forms to Ichigo, but most of the community are just cough cough, mm -mm, retarded. Being realistic here, Naruto actually beats Ichigo very easily and badly. For their previous transformations, I see Ichigo winning most, but it starts changing from Biju Sage mode, um, um, to be honest. Overall, for most of their powers, Ichigo is stronger than Naruto, but their war arcs and above, Naruto pretty much slaps him low to mid difficulty. Bringing anything like Naruto the last and Hokage is not even fair at all. It's not even fair, not close. Um, so yeah, Naruto wins this, but Ichigo also beats him most of the transformation, but getting towards the ending of their, of their growth, Naruto just dominates. Um, if you found this video informative or um, you're an anime fan, please do to like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you subscribe as an anime fan, note that this is an all-fictional channel for power scaling and character analysis for comic, 
night novels, anime, and different verses, man. See you next time. Peace.